Hey, what's good traders? What's up? Happy Friday and welcome to another Fundamental Friday. So today <clears throat> I want to make a video for all my US 30 traders out there. What factors influence US 30? Now, I know a lot of people trade this using strictly technicals, which is fine. You know, every trader is different. But if you do want to implement fundamental analysis in your trading, if you trade US 30, these are some of the things that will influence that. Some of the things to look out for. So. Let's get into it. Of course, economics. The economy of the United States is going to be, you know, what drives it. But there's a few nuances, a few factors that play into that. It's not, um, you know, just as easy as the economy. So, first of all, it is only the economy for the United States that affects this. Um, you know, if, if Japan's not doing well, it, you know, don't sell US 30 because it is about the United States economy and US companies. So there's that. But there's a few factors that will affect the perceived condition of the economy. And I put perceived because sometimes, you know, what investors are thinking around the world um, that trade this is not necessarily the actually, um, it's not the reality of the situation but is it is the perceived reality and you need to know what the perceived sentiment is to trade right because that's what's going to actually affect the price is what you know the majority of the traders are thinking so a couple of the factors here is the fed the fed is the central bank of the united states they have an enormous amount of power on the markets what they say and what they do so their statements, they issue statements every once in a while, or you know, some members will be speaking. Um, they can move around the market depending on what they say. So we gotta keep that in mind. Also the interest rates that they set. If they are cutting interest rates, usually the market will head higher, US 30 will go up, because lower interest rates are good for, they're good for the economy, right? Helps grow it. So this gives investors confidence to invest and buy. Next up is economic data. So economic data such as, well, obviously earnings, earnings statements from companies will affect it, but more so, you know, GDP of the United States, unemployment rates, um, you know, CPI, all of these data points will play into US 30. So you need to keep that in mind. Next up, geopolitical events this could be a war this could be a trade war this could be an election all those things will influence us 30 right there's a ton of things that play into it such as the us iran tensions earlier this year such as you know the us china trade war such as the coronavirus all these things will influence the price right so you got to keep track of all that there's a lot like i said that plays into it and lastly investor perceptions Basically, if investors are thinking things are going to be okay, things are going to be fine, they're buying it up, um, you have to take note of that. You need to know what the perceptions are because if all your analysis is saying, you know, things aren't looking good, but it keeps going up and everyone thinks it's fine, then you need to know that because you're trading the market. You're not trading your thoughts, right? So I just wanted to um, hop I just wanted to hop over to the chart here for US 30. Let's just do that. And um, I wanted to show you guys a few things. So one of them is how elections can affect US 30. So this is on the daily time frame. So each candle is a day. Um, <clears throat> so if we go back here to November of 2016, some of you may know the importance of November 2016, others may not. Basically, let me just highlight it here, this area. This is when um, the president for the next four years is picked. Every four years, and it just happened to be on 26, in 2016, and it's always in November. So I wanted to show you guys how elections can affect the markets. So basically, this is a very volatile time because the president has a lot of influence on the economy and on how the country will go over the next four years. The reason this thing rallied, let's see, it rallied over the next month 10%, which is a lot for US 30. The reason it rallied so much is because Donald Trump won. Now, so, you know, love, or, love him or hate him, some of you guys might be thinking, how, why is that? How is that possible? 
Well, basically, he's a businessman, right? He's run businesses his whole life. And investors' perception was if he wins, it will be good for the economy because he will make sure the economy is doing good. And um, so if you know this information, you know, okay, if he wins, then, you know, I should probably go along US 30. And it would have worked out perfectly here. Another thing I wanted to show you guys here was at the beginning of the year, right around here, um, we had the tensions between the United States and Iran. And, um, you know, you could have caught a nice two and a half percent move, which of course US 30, you have access to leverage. So a one, two percent move on US 30 could be a lot higher depending on how much leverage you're using. It could be 5%, 10%, 20%, 100%. It, you know, it really depends how much leverage you're you're applying, but you could have made some nice money there, right? Because obviously that's not good for the market. Investors might get scared because there's a potential of a you know another war breaking out. So you could have caught that, and um, obviously this huge fall you could have caught. I know a lot of traders shorted um, U.S. 30 because the coronavirus finally hit the United States around this time. It was starting to spread, which um, you know, investors' perception, yet to take note, this is really bad. You know, millions of people could die. The economy's gonna, you know, be all messed up. All of that, you know, and this thing sold off. So you could have taken advantage of that. Just, you know, seeing how all these things play into each other, thinking about how investors will perceive certain events in the news, right? That will really be helpful if you're trying to trade us 30 at least if you want to trade it strictly without technicals if, if you want to um you know just trade technicals you don't need to keep any of this in mind and just keep doing what you're doing but if you want to apply some fundamentals if you want to get more into that side of things <clears throat> these are the type of stuff you need to be looking out for now what happened here right obviously coronavirus is going on sold off why is this thing heading higher it doesn't make any sense, right? The reason for that is another one of the points I mentioned is the Fed. The Fed has been absolutely trying to keep this market up, doing whatever they can. They've been printing money. They've been buying up tons of assets. Um, and they cut interest rates down to almost zero, which, like I mentioned, if interest rates are getting cut, Investors will perceive that as good. It's great. You can, you know, there'll be huge economic growth because companies will be borrowing money, blah, blah, blah. That has really been keeping this market up. So it's not as cut and dry as, you know, coronavirus going on. That's bad. Let's sell. It's not that easy, right? Because you have sometimes a um, divergence in, in your fundamental analysis. So on one hand, we have the Fed pumping money. That's good. Markets should go up. And then on the other hand, you have, you know, unemployment reaching record numbers. You have, you know, millions of companies shut down, tons of people out of, you know, work. Just the global economy right now is not performing well. And the United States economy is not doing well. So there's sort of a divergence there. Sometimes, you know, you will just sort of have to go with the technicals. You're going to have to go with price action because that is what sort of is is the sentiment right sentiment is investors perceptions based on investors perceptions they're going to buy or sell based on their buying and selling will affect the price aka price action so when there's a divergence when things are kind of complicated and messy you sort of want to be going with the technicals a little bit more which you know might not make a whole lot of sense but trust me it's it will save you a lot of headaches thinking, you know, I keep trying to sell. I keep trying to sell. It's not going down. You know, in cases like that, just, you know, put that on pause. Trade the price action until it agrees with your idea. Anyway, guys, I, I hope this helped. Uh, I really enjoy doing videos like this where I just talk about, you know, fundamentals, what drives price, how it affects things. Now, I personally don't trade US 30. But um, I do think it's a great pair to trade. Um, it's essentially trading the S&P and the Dow Jones. It, it moves the same way. So um, 
you know, all the things that affects those affects US 30. It's essentially the same. So um, there's a ton of ways you can trade it. Also, I just want to point that out. You don't have to trade US 30, you know, sort of as like a CFD with leverage. You can trade, you know, um, probably not with some of your guys brokers, but if you sign up with a different broker, you guys can trade US 30 with um, options, you know, by trading the S&P with options. You guys can trade it um, just outright buying shares and shorting shares. There's a ton of ways you can, you know, get involved. There's ETFs you can trade, leverage ETFs if you want. There's a ton of ways you can get involved trading this market. Just wanted to point that out. You know, there's not just one way you have to trade US 30 with, you know, um, whatever offshore broker is popular. There's a lot of different ways you guys can trade it. So just keep that in mind. Maybe the way you're trading it doesn't really work for you. Maybe you want to try different platforms. Maybe you want to, you know, hedge using using options. There's a ton of things you can do in these markets. And, um, you know, just, just keep an open mind. Look at all your options. Hope you guys learned something from this. Um, you know, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Peace.